while commissioning a multi billion market and a one stop border post at the Mpondwe border in Kasese district. President Yoma Seven said that this will facilitate easy trade with the Democratic Republic of Congo. President Museven called for vigilance amid the reopening of the border to avoid a surge in COVID-19 cases. A few weeks ago, you remember, I made a national broadcast and said we had opened the, 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 the country and we are now emphasizing immunization. So the border is now open. There, there should be no, no, no testing given of some people coming and going, they can go. Our well, emphasis is now on immunization. I, I think the guidelines I gave a few weeks ago when I made the broadcast was that for public meetings like these ones, when you come, they ask you for, for, your, uh, for your vaccination certificate. The permanent secretary of the Ministry of Trade and Cooperatives, Jadlin Sara, appealed to the traders operating across the border to utilize the market now that it has been opened to trade. It is very important today that we announce to every single person in French, in English, in Swahili, in every language we can and inform our people that this post is open for business. Let them come back. We, are, we shall have them with open arms. The Commissioner General of the Uganda Revenue Authority, John Masingwezi Rujaki, highlighted that the one stop border point towards mapping trade and strengthening the relationship between Uganda and Congo. I just want to take this opportunity to thank you for your guidance and insisting that we should have non intrusive scanning technology on all our border points. We were not able to demonstrate to you, Your Excellency, but in this very important way, border point, we already have a mobile scanner and the passenger baggage scanner installed. If time allowed, you would have seen them. But these are not the only ones. Your Excellency, the government committed and signed a contract with a company from China, supplier 39 scanners. And I'm happy to report to you that 24 of these 39 scanners have already been delivered. Kasese District also five chairperson. Elfaz Mohind reminded President Seven of the urgent need to relocate victims of the 2020 Nyamwamba floods who today are still living in the misery. We pray that the internally displaced people be resettled so that they can be able to continue and uh, a normal life. We also request your excellency that in the same spirit you decided to give us five health facilities in the mountain when you came to power immediately after like one year, 1987, through Honorable Dr. Christmas Yonga, you did direct that there will be five health facilities in the mountain. One in Kabatunda, Nusongora North, another one in Isle, Nusongora North, another one in Mahango, that is Bukonzo East, another one in Handero, Bukonzo West, another one in Chitoro, Bukonzo West. We pray that these health facilities be upgraded to health center force. We request.